it's 4 18 on saturday today i just got finished putting together my bed frame but i just wanted to write down what is it i wanted to do today okay i want to do laundry I want to wash my mats and my clothes and my blankets. I want to explore the library because as we learned in my last weekend vlog that they only open on the third of Saturday on the third Saturday of the month. This is the third Saturday of the month so they should be open up for me to <clears throat> probably pick up some nice books. Right, what else do I want to do? Oh, okay. I want to bake cinnamon rolls. Well, I was going to write in the air fryer, but then it should be air fry cinnamon rolls. Well, let's just put in the cinnamon, in the air fryer. It should be air fry cinnamon rolls. Okay. And after that, what else is your girl looking to do? It's trash, trash, trash. I have to, I want to add some trash outside. Take out trash. It's like a whole bunch of boxes I have outside from, um, you know, again, buying things, unboxing them out, buying furniture, unboxing them out. So I have to buy a hammer. I keep forgetting. Good thing I'm writing this down. <laughs> buy hammer for bed frame. That's not really a bed frame, but I'm going to call it that because yeah and i think that's going to be my day and then i i, I want to get that done oh jesus ready i want to get that done in the morning <laughs> it's four o'clock in the morning i still haven't slept from building this stuff so is this realistic no but it's the ideal so this was my bag my lap board and Ew, my whatchamacallit, my mats, my lemon mats. And I am learning that this is probably not washable because as you can see, a whole bunch of beads bust. No, I shared this washer and dryer with three other people around the house. So it's like, I can't have this accident affect them as well. How obnoxious. All right, cheat code. So I use my hand a bit to scrape a good chunk of it out. Okay. And I just recovered this towel. That you remember the towel I put out back in um, my last oh, part one of my settling into my new apartment vlog. Well, I just recovered it. I was going to abandon it, but a good reason to recover it. I could put this down maybe. Get everything back up. Maybe. All right, so... The complete guide to nonprofit management. Since I work in that area, I would like to have that. I also got attracting perfect customers. All right, making sure we fit. Predictable success and the art of strategy. And I think that's what I'm rolling with. The problem with the beads are still apparent in the wash. So what I do is I take a bit of honey, okay? Put my hands together and I, all right, that's how much I got. But last time I filmed it, I got a whole bunch of much more. Actual furniture. So we went all around rooms ago. We went to Ashley Furniture, we went to American Signature. And I, I I saw all these things that I wanted again. My room is a mess and I'll explain why. One of the reasons why I can actually say is because more packages are coming in. I have my mattress, I have my sheets, I have my tray, whatever, whatever, and I have the sheet covers. But I, I want the place cleaned up before I put in new stuff. I got started cleaning this, okay? 
I'm cleaning this kitchen space, but this broke and I really, really liked it. And I feel like it was like a limited Valentine's Day only thing. So Valentine's glass container, you see that? I wanna like walk over to Family Dollar right quick and see if I can snap another one. Back from the Dollar Tree and I didn't find a replacement for my Valentine's container. I'm gonna have to like look at the internet, but I did get some kitchen appliances. Cute little cutting board. Cutting board, what am I saying? I got this grater and I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Listen, this is unavailable because in here is some mold that I've been calling my landlord aboard, but I think he forgot about me. And that's gonna be very dangerous. I'm, I'm doing my best to ignore that health hazard right there. I have the idea that I'm gonna make what pancake mix, <coughs> fill it up here, oh, and then squeeze it out for breakfast. What is this called? Yeah, mix and serve container. I assume it's for, um, I assume it's for that purpose, you know. We're gonna put you right there. And then there's this, okay? I got this because I got these and I'm like, where are these gonna go? And again, there's nowhere to, there's nowhere to put this really. I'm thinking, <laughs> oh, look at that, I'm sorry. Oh, I put it right here, look at that. And I could just bring it down whenever I need spoons and whatever nonsense. And we can just stack the cups here. I have to, I bought four cups, where are those? I bought four cups, oh, right here. <laughs> so I guess what I'll do is I'll go to Walmart and maybe buy, oh no, don't do that. Go to Walmart, Wally Wally Walmart, and get maybe two more. I can't get over how cute my cherry mat is. So cute and adorable. Like the shine, and it is not shine, it's almost what I'm gonna call it. It's just rug, but they even captured the shine of it. And it comes together so well. Cherry. So, what do I wanna do today? It's the way I went completely blank. Oh, okay. Take back air fryer. Remember when I tried to cancel um, the air fryer I had coming? Well, it's here and I have to take it back and get back my $75. Take it back to USPS. UPS, there you go. Print out claim. Okay, so I used to work at a Marshall's job and I knew that that Marshall's job um, had sent me some unclaimed paycheck that I didn't claim yet right that they owed me like a hundred and thirty nine dollars and basically i lost all the information that was available to me to get it but i knew that it would show up as unclaimed property by the government so i went online and i typed in my information and they showed me the property that i had left to claim which is like 139 dollars so i claimed it and they gave me a form that i have to fill out and send so i can finally get this in 90 days or so so i want to print that out when i go to usps then i want to drop hold on drop suitcase off at marshall's okay i don't want it it's, i have a whole bunch of stuff that i don't want because it's messing up the whole aesthetic of this small studio space so i'm thinking i'll just get what i can and drop them off at marshall's Drop suitcase off at Marshall's. And what else do I want to do? What else do I want to do? I do want to... Oh, Jesus. Okay. I want to clean. <laughs> Am I doing that Saturday or Sunday? I want to clean the studio and the refrigerator. And I also want to take a trip to mom's place to um pick up my monitor. Pick up that monitor. Okay. Will I accomplish this? No, but it's what I want. It is Genosha from the editing dimension. Frustrated with myself because I had all the time in the world, but I didn't want to. The plan I had in my head was pay like $5 bus fare to take the bus all the way from Miami to Miramar, pick up the desktop, and then Uber bath like uh, that'd be like thirty dollars thirty dollars over to <laughs> back to my place with the desktop right money but at least i have the desktop i didn't feel like doing that i didn't feel like sitting in a bus for two hours i and the alternatives to pay like 60 bucks in full just for that i didn't feel like doing that the marshall's plan like take oh you see that suitcase right there that suitcase take it to marshall's i didn't even want to make that walk it was like 
you 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 hear that it's finances that is influencing this but it's also like it's also like par- paralysis it's adhd paralysis when i feel overwhelmed with things to do today i just do nothing i just pause so yeah i'm sitting in my disappointment right now i this is just unacceptable for me you know i want to grow from this habit this setback i thought i had more to say but i don't yeah i never do when the camera's on this is unacceptable you know when i write something down on the planner what if i make sure that everything is done what if i do it step by step by step no excuses all discipline in being able to do it right i feel like step by step by step that's the ideal that's the fantasy but there's something visceral that comes out this situation makes sense you don't want to pay you don't want to walk in the hot sun to marshall's to drop this off you don't want to pay 60 dollars to go pick up a dex a um a desktop am i a monitor not a desktop what is that a monitor but there's also other things i could do right i could finally organize the papers i have down here you know get looking for I can't even explain it. Yeah, I can look through the papers, start organizing the papers I have in here and here. I can get started in those books, which I still have in mind too. Um, after I'm done editing this, I could, I could start. I could start looking for new prospects to hit the ground running for the week. I didn't do any of that. I didn't even do my laundry. I. I gotta get over this it's paralysis and i'm not seeking out medication anytime soon so i really gotta 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 get a hold of this right i'm just putting that into the universe this failure to carry out what i wrote down i wanted to do is unacceptable me not being able to replace it with other tasks is unacceptable what kind of future and am i setting myself up so i'm setting myself up for if i just don't carry out but you know what that is what i vlog for isn't it you know i feel like okay carry this out fail carry this out succeed whether i fail or succeed i have content that 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 is the mindset i have whether i fail or succeed carrying out something i have content you see me try to be responsible and get my laundry done top of the morning and it ends up being a disaster well i have i can turn that into content and you know this hobby is sort of what i use as a motivator to do things anyway and not be afraid of failure disappointments and things blowing up in my face you know doing things that i hope will help me grow in character but it blowing up my face okay well look my face but that's content and that relaxes me and that really maintains my motivation to carry out whatever else i had the audacity to plan audacity to plan and i think one of the biggest curiosities the biggest um ab- ambitions i have in doing this is okay i'll do a b c like i have the idea that if i can carry out what i wrote in a timely manner i will see character growth i will feel new habits in myself you know, you know, and if I don't, I will be able to tell the tale. If I do or I don't, I'll be able to tell the tale of what works and I'll be able to explore what I'm doing different. And I won't be doing that exploration alone. I won't feel lonely in what I discover um, in carrying these things by myself. It all goes down to what I'm doing this sort of content for, you know. <laughs> and I just want to rant, you know. I I'm riveting with this self disappointment, this self letdown, words, synonyms, and it can happen again. I say that, <laughs> but but there is a discomfort in being resolute in that. Let's be resolute. It can happen again. Next time I don't feel like carrying out something. I'm not going to spend hours thinking maybe I should, maybe I don't. Like I had the idea that it's it's 8.27 now. I had the idea that as soon as it hits 9, I'm just going to do a late night random rush to get it done. And that that's that's a habit of mine. That's a habit of mine. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to sit in this. And I'm going to 
tell myself mentally, I can't let this happen again. <laughs> I am really, really in love with the rose petal sheets I have down here. Okay, even when I had it in the package, I was just staring at it because it was so, so pretty. And in the beginning, I was kind of worried about the print not going well with the rest of the setup I have here. Just style-wise, interior-wise, I was worried about the print. But now that I have the white blanket and the white, this white pillowcase with the texture, okay, there's a word for it, I lost it. I think it goes together well with, <laughs> right? <laughs> I think it really brings everything together as with, with the bed sheet, right? So everything goes complimentary basically. For the bathroom, okay, so that sherry mat, I want a cherry toilet brush and I think I want, it's, good, it's so extra, but I think I want um, cherry shower rings. Like basically I want to, this to be maximalist with the cherry theme, right? I want cherry theme maximalism in my bathroom. I'm not, I'm not gonna get it because I know it's gonna be two things, right? It's gonna be cherry mat, another cherry mat, cherry toilet brush, cherry shower ring, like there's, and I tried to look for something else cherry, like something to hang there. I can't find nothing. I can't even find like a dispenser. So no, there's not a lot of cherry themed stuff. There's a lot of strawberry themed stuff, but who the hell wants that? I don't want strawberry, I want cherry. So that's the end of the vlog, I think. Bye. <laughs>